Well, hey folks, I wanted to take a quick minute here before the episode gets started uh, to say Happy New Year to everyone. It's already almost the middle of January, I know, but I hope you've had the chance to get out and do some digging if you're a detector. I hope you're having a great year uh, already starting out. I um, wanted to make a quick sort of administrative note on the channel. I'm probably going to have to go to a once every two weeks uh, schedule for posting an episode. I'm, I'm having pretty good luck getting permissions. I'm not having so much luck getting off work. So the work requirements here are a little bit different than what I had before. Um, I, I may still try to do weekly videos from time to time, but it's probably going to be every other week. I've got a couple of episodes uh, besides the one that's that's getting ready to play already in the can. But uh, just looking at all the requirements, that's probably the schedule I'm going to have to go to. I still want to do a couple more uh, different type of blogish type of videos, uh, tutorials on how to find uh, detecting sites along those lines, some things like that. So, uh, yep, hope you're having a great 2022 already. Um, I appreciate, as always, you guys following along. Uh, and I think that's, uh, I think that's what, uh, what I want to start with this time. So hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you guys later. Well, Hey folks, I am out detecting on a cold, wet, rainy day. I had not planned on recording. I came over to check out a new permission. Uh, that I was pretty excited about. I don't think it's ever been detected and it is Civil War site activity. Uh, been here for just a few minutes. Again, I was not planning on recording. Probably going to get rained out, uh, but so far looks like I've got a 54 Burnside and maybe a 52 Sharps. And down in the hole can you see it? Looks like I've got a three ringer. Absolutely. So I'm on my first Civil War bullets in Tennessee and I could not be more happy about it. I'm in a very populated area so there's probably going to be all kind of street noise. Um, but I'm excited about this permission. I do not think it's been touched. Look at this. All right, let's, uh, let's see what else we can do here over the next few minutes. All right, I got a good 16-17 uh, signal here. That's uh, right in the bullet range. We'll do this together. I already popped the plug. It's right here somewhere on the surface. Matter of fact, I think I see something right there. You see it? Yep. Look at that, it's going to be another burn side. 54 caliber. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm just ecstatic to be back on the board with Civil War relics. Alright, let's keep going for a few more minutes. Got another good signal here, 1718 right in the plug. We'll see what it is together. Oh, what is that? Not sure what that is. It's brass. I'm guessing that's going to be period. I'll get it cleaned up. If it's anything I can recognize, I'll uh, I'll come back. Just had a 15-16 signal. Very shallow. I think that's going to be a uh, a sharps. 52 caliber, I think. Maybe not. That might be a uh, Spencer. No. Get it cleaned up and be able to tell. Maybe another burn side. Looks kind of long for a burn side, though. Whatever it is, 
I'm just glad to have it. Awesome day. Digging Civil War history out in West Tennessee. Alright, got another good 1718 signal here. Here's the plug. I already did my pinpointer and it's going to be right in here. And there it is. That's fired. Definitely fired. Can't tell what it is yet, but no doubt about it. That's maybe a three ringer. Unbelievable. What a day. I'm just in a very little small area here. I've got a lot more to cover on this permission. Awesome. Same thing, another 1516. I think I actually almost got this one. I may have with my shovel there. Look at that. It's a three ringer. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Drop three ringer. Outstanding. Well, not getting rained out yet. It's coming though. Let's keep pushing for a few more minutes. Well, this was a strange hole. <laughs> That's what just popped out. Had a weird signal. That's a modern. It's not silver. Uh, silver plated. And then an entire Coca Cola bottle. I'm not big on. Bottles it says Boston on it, so I don't have any idea about the age of something like that. But yeah, same hole. Weird. All right. Well, one day has passed since that last hole. I got rained out yesterday. Uh, it didn't look like the rain was going to let up anytime soon, so I called it a day uh, on that last one. Uh, so it's been about 24 hours. Uh, it's back. Uh, Back over here this afternoon, same spot, uh, just got out of my truck. My first hole, 15, 16. And that's another burn side. <laughs> Unbelievable. Awesome. You just can't beat this. These signals are a little bit different here, uh, I'm figuring out, but... This was a scratchy 1718, and I haven't even moved it yet. Right there, it looks like that's going to be an infield. Yep, I do believe. Fired infield, how about that? Good variety out of this place. All right, I keep saying it, but uh, let's keep going. All right, well, I think I got my first button here. Well, I don't think I know, so it's in two pieces. It's a two-piece cuff button, general service, eagle, and shield. You can see that. It's going to focus, maybe. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. I don't know why it's not focusing. There's the front, or the uh, top piece, and here's the backing. It's got the shank on it. So my first button, first Civil War button in Tennessee. General Service Eagle and Shield cuff button. Love it. Well, I don't know what this is. See it there. Some kind of jewelry, a brooch maybe? old brass I'm not sure something a little bit older get it cleaned up and see all right that's something different I'm continuing to get a variety of Civil War relics 
I think this is going to be a uh, Spencer cartridge, which I think I've found a Spencer. Uh, yeah, I think that's what that is. Awesome. Really enjoying being here at this site. Love digging Civil War history. Well, I'm not sure of its age, but that's an old pocket watch. Yeah. I do believe that's what that is. Got some shiny left on it. We'll get it cleaned up. That's cool. Well, I'm running out of daylight here. Just popped a little musket ball. Let's see how much longer we've got. Try to get a few more holes in before we lose the light. All right, well, I really am almost out of daylight, but not expecting this. Look at this. It's a silver ring. I don't think it's too old, but I'll take it. Very cool. That may be it for the day. I think my camera's slowing down here or something. I don't know what's going on with it. But if that's it, we'll see you in the wrap up. All right, well, I'm back home. There's the board. Uh, pretty good looking board, if you ask me. Uh, just really happy to be digging Civil War history uh, in my new state. Just thrilled to be able to get a site where I don't think it's been detected. I mean, there's just targets everywhere. Of course, there's trash. You got you to sort through that. But uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of targets left there. I think it's about six acres that I have access to. Um, and I've only covered a very small portion of it. So looking forward to uh, continuing to see what's there. Let's run through this. Uh, as usual, some of this was on film, some of it not so much. Uh, start over here. There was some Boy Scout activity in the area. Got two little neckerchief clips and then a Girl Scout uh, little pin. The backs, the pin broke off on it, but you find those every now and then. Uh, not sure about this piece, and I've got a few mystery items here. Weird-looking uh, brass. I thought it was just kind of crumbled up, but the more I look at it, I think it was made this way, but there's different layers of brass in there. So if you have any idea on that, you can let me know. I uh, got the little... Uh, uh, there's a, a name for these, and it just slipped my mind. Uh, mm. Well, I can't think of it now, but I think that's uh, that's probably period. A file. This would have been some kind of file piece. Uh, another little mystery item. It has, uh, I mean, it's comparable to like the, the Chevy bow tie, but I actually think it's uh, longer on one end. I think it's a cross. If you kind of see it that way, it kind of bows out there at the end. Um, I was thinking maybe... Um, piece off of a, uh, my mind's going drawing blank now, uh, scabbard, sword scabbard, something like that. Not sure though. Let me know what you think. Uh, I've got the pocket watch here. I thought I was going to be able to get a name off of it. I probably could figure out what kind it is to get a date range, but an old pocket watch, a little top piece on it there. That's cool. Uh, let's see, Taco Money, got the skeleton key, I don't think I got that on film. That's cool, I don't think I've ever found an actual complete skeleton key. Got some little lead pieces, uh, these were definitely melted, you can, you can tell it's flat on the bottom, so it would have been like, you know, spilled over as they were pouring in their, the bullet molds, uh, but that's, both of those are spilled lead. A couple little bell seals. Something on this one, something company, I think, and the number 22. And then this one was interesting. It's got a U and an S on it. 
uh, and I was asking around for different thoughts on this one. I'm not sure. It's probably part of a bag seal. It's got a couple little iron marks back here on the back, but that's a cool little piece. Uh, some modern spoons, uh, parasol clip, leather rivet. Don't know about this little piece. I think I got that on film. Not sure. Definitely think it's period though, brass. Uh, what I believe to be two lead sabots. Uh, these would have been off artillery rounds. I'm, I'm more confident about this one. This one looks a little different. Uh, it looks like it's got some kind of crimping marks on it. So somebody will know what that is. You can let me know, but I'm, I'm fairly confident this is like off of a, uh, I don't know, one of the different artillery rounds, Civil War lead sabot, S-A-B-O-T. This was laying on the surface. Got a little gas money from a trip. Just laying there. Pick that up. Uh, we'll do the, the bullets here. I think I ended up getting three three ringers. This one was fired. Got the infield. Uh, three burn sides. Not sure about this one. Maybe a Spencer. I never did measure it. I guess I could have. Uh, it could just kind of be a misshapen burn side. This is a uh, Smith carbine. I do believe a fired, impacted, uh, one little small caliber something or another. Uh, musket ball, this is the Spencer cartridge, pretty sure about that. Uh, got the silver ring right there at the end, it's got 925 in it, somewhere down there. So that's cool. And then my one little cuff button, uh, it's actually two pieces, it's, it's broken apart, but I've got it kind of stuck back together right now. So you can see the eagle there, general service, Civil War cuff button. Awesome. All right, well, that's a good day in my books. Hope you enjoyed that hunt. Uh, glad to be back out detecting. So uh, if you're not on, uh, if you're on Instagram, I should say, I'm over there at I underscore dig underscore history as always. If you like the video, if you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. Very much appreciate it. Thanks for all the comments, uh, tips, and ideas on some of the pieces that I find. Always appreciate that. And I think that's going to do it. So we will see you guys next time.